What's up Hoopers, this is Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we're going to talk about a few things that's going to help your shooting accuracy. Let's get started. Never seen nothing like this before. Lit the room when I came through the front door. Ask me if I should suffer come work for. Train in the trees, please walk my sycamore. Touch burning sands, cross lands and Still me sure, sure seasons in the year, yeah. Ain't no channel for champions and chain no fear. Yeah. All right, Hoopers, well, like I said, we're gonna go over a couple of tips and key things that are important to improving your shooting accuracy. So make sure you're paying close attention, you're thinking about these things, and really visualizing as I'm speaking, how is it gonna help my shot? What can I do to fix my jumper to become a better shooter? All right, so let's start with the base, let's start with the foundation, your feet. Are you the type of player who likes to shoot the basketball with your feet squared up to the basket? Do you have a slight tilt? Or do you shoot like Dirk Nowitzki, who has them feet you know, really tilted in, and that allows him to be comfortable shooting the basketball? All right, so each one of those are important ways to that you make sure how am I going to shoot it? What's most comfortable? You know, you don't want to be shooting the ball with your feet closed or crossed over or anything like that. It's going to be trouble that way. Make sure your feet are comfortable. This is the base. This is your foundation. This is where your shot starts. So you have to make sure that this is most comfortable for you. Don't worry about what anybody else is saying. Figure out what's best for you because it's your shot that you're messing with. This is your shot that you're trying to improve. All right, so make sure your feet are the way you want them. Knock it down be comfortable that's all shooting is about being comfortable making sure all your mechanics are together and working together to become a better shooter all right, Hooper, so we just talked about our feet and saying that's the foundation. So let's continue to build off of that. What comes after your feet? Well, your legs. You have to make sure that your legs are involved with your, with your shot. Because if you're shooting the basketball and you're just flat footed, you're not getting any lift, your shot's going to be flat. That's probably one of the highest comment rates that we have on YouTube is that a lot of the comments are saying, coach, my shot is flat. How can I get some air underneath it? Why am I shooting air balls? How am I always shooting the ball short? Well, my first response is, in all capitals, are you using your legs, right? Because it's important. And I'm not saying you have to do a full squat and jump as high as you can and shoot it, but jump high enough where you're getting a good rhythm into your jumper, where you can get a good lift, right? And you feel fluid and you feel smooth when you shoot the basketball. But most importantly, you feel comfortable. So get your legs involved. So if you have to start down here in this area, figure it out. Okay, that's a good, that's some good height on this shot. Uh, that's too little, ah, that's too much. Where am I good? Okay, I'm right in the middle of that. Boom, okay. Now let me see how it feels a little further back. Oh, still the same, okay. Let me go to the three point line, how about that? Yep, I like it like that, boom. You've got your legs in your shot. You gotta have that in order, in order to improve your shooting. All right, Hoopers, well, what I believe to be the most important ingredient to becoming a better shooter and a more accurate shooter is your shoulders, getting your shoulders turned. Whether it means be coming off of the dribble, getting my shoulders right, coming off of a screen and getting my shoulders turned, okay? I believe that is very important because think about this, if I'm coming off a screen and my shoulders are facing this way but the hoop's over here and I'm shooting the ball, you know, I don't really have a great chance of knocking it down. The only thing is with, with your shoulders, the only exception I should say is when you're down by the basket and you're a big man and you're shooting a hook shot, a lot of the times your shoulders may not turn all the way until the end, but you're here and you're shooting. But for a jump shot, you have to make sure your shoulders are turned and squared to the basket every single time. NBA players, any, really any player that shoots a fadeaway jump shot, when they hit those fadeaways and they turn, they got them shoulders squared towards the basket to give them the best chance possible to shoot an accurate shot. All right, so we've built on our foundation. We started with our feet as the base, obviously, because that's where it is. And then we move up one level. We got our legs involved into it. In level three, which is most important, we'll call this the main lobby, okay? Our feet is our, our parking lot. Level two is the basement. And level three, we're in the main lobby where everything happens. We got our shoulders into it, all right? So make sure your shoulders are there and ready to fire away on that jumper. The last thing that's important with your jumper is obviously your release. 
right? The last thing you have to think about is how are you shooting the basketball? No matter where your release point comes from, whether it's below your chin, above your head, to the side, to the side, to the back, it doesn't matter, right? But your follow through, that's important, your follow through. Where is your hand after you release the basketball? Is it here? That's a flat jumper. Is it here? It's going over there. Is it here? It's going over there. If it's here and it's up, it's got a great chance and possibility to watch that thing go right through the net. All right, so your release, not just not your release point necessarily, because I've seen a lot of players, even college, that shoot the ball between their or underneath their chin or to the right of their head or to the left, right? So it doesn't really so much matter where your release is at, but it's all about the follow through. Are you getting that ball up in the air? Are you giving it a chance to go in? Because if you are, you're improving your shot. You're giving it a good chance to go in. All right, so the follow through is what's important. Leave that hand up on that follow through and watch that ball go in, all right? Those are the key ingredients to become a better shooter and a more accurate shooter, starting with your feet, up to your legs, to your shoulders, to your release and your follow through. All right, Hoopers, well, that's it for today's video on how to become a better shooter with more accuracy. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let us know what you think. Suggestions are very important to us as well as we take those very serious and really listen and love to everything that you have to say. All right, if you enjoyed today's video, you need to go ahead and join Think Pro Basketball by hitting that subscribe button. Check out all the great videos we have that provide you with professional level training that's gonna result in in-game results in situations to help you become a better basketball player. So until I see you again next time, hit the gym, hit the court, work on your jumper to become a prolific knockdown shooter. And remember to always keep hooping.